Hi guys and welcome to Feywood. So this next tutorial is making a jeweled bottle that's going to go on my backdrop with the other things I've been making. Um, so this one is sort of a crystal topped jewel encrusted bottle that I've created with a cool little pendant that I glued on the front of it um, that's got a sword with two serpents uh, circling around it. So first thing first, I spray painted my bottle and this is with one of those um, hammer finished paints. I really like the Rust-Oleum paints, so it's a Rust-Oleum um, ha hammer finished paint which gives a really cool texture when you're done and it's a really nice sort of tin colour. And then I'm using this epoxy two part um, clay which is so great for using for like um, jewels and things like that because you can push the jewels straight into the epoxy and it will grab them and glue dry and um, allow you to sort of sculpt shapes and things like that so there was a little divot in the top of the lid and I thought it was a perfect spot to put this epoxy clay and then I had little fragments of amethyst and little crystal shards that I've pressed into the top. Now if you didn't have natural crystals you could use Swarovski crystals, um, beads or anything else really that you were wanting to decorate your bottle with. about an hour and a half working time with this clay or really realistically I would say a little bit less than that um, because it does start to get quite dry and hard to maneuver at about the hour mark so you do want to work fairly quickly you can't walk away from it part way through and come back to it. I'm just using a little skewer here to press beads into the surrounding areas around the crystals um, and then I tried to sprinkle some glitter on thinking the tackiness of the epoxy clay would hold it on but it actually didn't. I um, then got a brush and started to brush away the glitter and it pretty much brushed all the glitter away so I actually went in with another round of glitter um, after doing that and pressed it in with the end of my skewer. So you sort of need to put some pressure um, against the glitter and actually press it into this clay for it to really grab. Now this was a pendant that I had for years actually and just didn't use it in any projects. Um, I actually used to wear it as a necklace. You could use absolutely, absolutely anything for the front of this bottle, um, any sort of charm or um, you could um, sculpt something out of polymer clay, but there's so many different metal charms that you could use. You could find yourself a sword if you're wanting to make one like this, um, or you could use anything else that suits the design that you're going for. So I've used a lot of sequins and um, plastic crystals in this design and I'm using the boils um, like it's just called craft glue but it's quite a tacky glue. So a tacky glue will allow you to work how I am with it sitting upright. Um, if you were using PVA you'd have to have this sitting flat so that the beads didn't slide around. Um, which would be fine, but you would just have to make sure you keep that in your mind when you're working with it because otherwise as soon as you glue something on it might start sliding off. Whereas this tacky glue works pretty well with small items at holding them upright like that. 
sometimes they will slide off still so you have to keep an eye on it but it works pretty well. Now a lot of times when I'm doing designs like this with crystals and beads and things um, I start with the larger components first and I might sort of map out a design with those larger bits um, especially if I'm wanting it to be symmetrical which I did in this case I thought it would really suit the bottle to have the beadwork um, around the crystals be quite symmetrical and as well as that on the rest of the bottle Now for the smallest beads there, you can see I've used some PVA glue. Uh, it sits okay at this point because there's beads for the um, small little crystals to rest on so they don't really slide off too much. I've gone for a mix of colours here, mainly because that's what I had on hand. Um, I just happened to have the blue and the lime green with the purple. Um, to be honest, it wasn't my favourite colour combination. I felt like it was probably a little bit too much with the lime green. I would have preferred maybe something else. But with the techniques I used on top of it, it all came together. Now I decided to use some of this, um, I think it's just called rat tail actually, which is a terrible name, but yeah I wanted to use it, it's just like a material um, trim and that would sort of outline the top of the bottle and my idea was I wanted to really encrust the top of the bottle with lots of jewels and then have the bottom be um, nice and bare. I bought these uh, gold jewels from Spotlight which is a craft store in Australia and they were in a big large packet they're just plastic crystals but you could find things like this all over the place um, eBay has a ton of them Etsy has a ton of them you could go Aliexpress wish wherever to get all of the, these just little plastic crystal things these of course are larger ones. Um, they are sliding a bit when I do this design as you can see I'm using a, again a bit of magic tape. Um, this tape it might be called different things to other people but it's just a tape that's not as tacky as other tapes so that it easily comes off things and it's really handy when you just need it to hold something on temporarily. Luckily the Boils glue dries um, you know, tacky enough within probably about half an hour or so, so it's quite good. Um, it needs a bit more to be fully dry but that will be dry enough that things won't move around. And again I'm starting with the larger components of the design and then moving into smaller aspects of the design and as I choose an element for one part of the design I just mirror that across all four corners of that bottle.
So you can see I'm layering things here. I like to use uh, sequins and then often I'll put a crystal on top of the sequin that's just a little bit smaller so that you just get a little glimpse of the sequin underneath um, and then you know the color of the crystal on top so it just changes the way it looks. Now that I've got the larger crystals in I'm starting to put the smaller crystals in as well and I'm mirroring the same colors again um, it's because of the certain colors I had on hand uh, I did have a few other different types of colors but I decided to go for these and I just wanted the top of the bottle to mirror the bottom of the bottle here that I'm decorating course you could entirely encrust the bottle with jewels if you wanted to but I think it looks really good when you've got areas that are encrusted with jewels next to areas that are not um, having that negative space actually helps add to the design I could picture this bottle being something that the Emperor of the Skeksis uses to put the Gelfling essence in. Um, it's very ostentatious, over the top, and it's got the purple crystals on the top of it as well. I really just make my design choices on things like this as I go, to be honest. Um, I might make some markings on a piece before this just to mark out things to help me um, make it symmetrical, but quite often I'll just build up elements one at a time and then decide where to add additional elements as I go, and that's how I did this as well. Uh, when I was done, so that I could really um, make it a bit more cohesive and tone down a little bit of the contrasting colours of the lime and the purple and everything, um, I've used my purple wax and just rubbed this over the top to not fully cover everything but just layer it with a sheen of purple. I also really wanted to show up the um, cording that I use to make the line around the bottle and then add a little bit of it on the um, spray painted bottom of the bottle as well to really bring it all together.
And that's the finished bottle. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little tutorial and it might have inspired you to make a jewel encrusted bottle yourself for your own stash um, or for storage of craft materials as well. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see more from me and for the rest of you I'll see you next time in Feywood. Bye guys. <laughs>